Hello guys and welcome back to another Empires and Pose video. So oh I just pulled Garten out of the Covenant Summon and one more thing, happy April Fool's Day. Comment down below how good I got you. But this is the first of April and uh and as we all know every new month we have a new calendar which we will be taking a look at today so without further to do let's get started so on monday we still have the tower of magic currently ongoing we have judgment of dunes with costume chorus and the ascension summon on tuesday war of the three kingdoms with a new hero Zhang Zhang, featured with Zhi Jing and Sha Wu Jing. So that should be a hero that many people or a portal that many people would draw for, especially uh Zhi Jing and Sha Wu Jing are currently some of the best heroes in the game. And on Wednesday we have Mirage of Mirage of Omega, uh the fire, the fire mirage and the uh trials uh, for the rogue and sorcerer emblems on thursday we have a pickup summon for erebus and kai uh extremely good heroes but i would recommend saving uh, some of your coins the pickup coins for someone uh good uh like we just had the hippo pickup summon so next we have tavern of legends coming on the fifth friday uh, with a new hero, Ramona, I guess she will be the new champions hero. The champions hero are extremely good, especially because you get that boost from the family bonus. And then if you pair her with more of the champion family heroes, Satori and Nogu is one of the best champion heroes. And on Saturday, the 6th of April, we have Arrow Barrage War. On Sunday, we have Paladin and Monk uh, trial uh, for the emblems and the five star bloody battle, uh, the fire restriction tournament. So that is an exciting first week of for April. On the second week, we're starting off with a new Path of Valor uh, to look at. New Path of Valor, extremely exciting. We also have the costume chamber with costume Kagan and cost. Uh, I'm sorry, Toon Kagan and Toon Richard featured some heavy hitters. Uh, people would be dropping in there as well. And an Atlantis summon with a free Mystic Vision summon. Extremely exciting. Now on the 10th, we have the Blue Ascension Material Quest. And the Fighter and Barbarian, Fighter and Barbarian Emblem Quest. Also another Aero Barrage War. And... To close off the day, we have Clash of Knights Alliance event quest with two new heroes, Cecilia and Armo, featured alongside Teddy. On the 12th, Valhalla Forever with a free Mystic Vision Summon and Lord Loki's featured as well. Extremely exciting. On the 13th, we have Equalizer War. On the 14th, we have the Cleric and the Druid uh, emblem quest and a three-star buff booster tournament i think with no restrictions so also a pretty exciting week two we have two two mystic free summons the valhalla and the season two atlantis so that is pretty exciting now on week three we're starting off with the goblin village with a new hero his name will be scroll beast Featured alongside Dark Feather, which is also a beast in his own right. So that should be an exciting portal. On the 17th, we have an Equalizer War and Fart Loam Pass for the Tome and the Gloves. And also uh, the Sorcerer and the Wizard Emblem Quest. On the 18th to the 21th we have the challenge festival uh three heroes uh, i'm sorry about the background noise again uh the challenge festival uh we will have three featured heroes and we don't know them yet uh, but if i were to make a guess i would say costume alice and costume hatter would be my guess uh, if you want some more details about uh, those heroes I just mentioned, 
please be sure to check out my latest video about uh, the beta version 66 I believe heroes that will be coming uh, this month April so that is also pretty exciting but I hope the featured heroes are good because it is the only event we have in the period of uh, one two three four days so next we have a an attack boost war I believe on the 20th and on the 21st we have Razor Paladin emblem quest and five star rush tournament with no element restrictions that is all for week three now week four we're starting off with three events mythic titan contest of elements holy and astral elves the astral elves should be pretty exciting the astral elves have taken over the meta by storm and this friday uh the portal was nice enough to give me spark light and hammer clang i am extremely excited to put them on my uh attack team alongside Marjana and Jeff John costume so that is also pretty exciting on the 24th we have an, uh, an attack boost war and uh, the holy ascension material quest alongside the barbarian and rogue emblem quest so a pretty exciting day on the 25th we have untold tales and tremors of underwild Featuring Gestalt and uh, Lapiota and costume Dr. Maru, which was featured in the uh, latest Soul Exchange, and we also have another free Mystic Vision summon. On the 27th, we have a Rush War. 28th, we have Monk and Cleric Emblem Quest and uh, a tournament 5 star No Nature. I think it's Bloody Battle. So that is a pretty exciting week and uh, to finish off April we have the Springvale uh, will end and we will have the Judgment of Dunes which will be uh, from the 29th to the 2nd and we also have a Tavern of Legends at the 3rd you got rigrolled yeah, but let's let's not mind that so i was think uh, so i was thinking that uh most people will be dropping in uh the three kingdom summon maybe the tavern of legends uh and the costume chamber the clash of knights valhalla maybe some desperate people will goblin village definitely uh and astral elves definitely and at least and I think some people will drop in the Untold Tales for Gestalt and Gellert, but I don't really see a use for Atlantia. And the Judgment of Dunes, uh, we have currently ongoing for Costume Horus. So, a pretty exciting month. Sadly, uh, no special events like uh, the Soul Exchange, the League Sign Up, but. I guess that is a fine because we I think we will have a lot of amazing heroes uh, like uh, the Clash of Knights, uh, Ting Zang Zang that will be dropping pretty soon, Ramona I hope she's pretty good as well. So an extremely busy month uh, especially we have Springdale all the time in this month so uh, just use your flags wisely and do not rush to uh to finish springvale if i would recommend something uh try and farm springvale on week three where is there where is there only one event like the whole way through because you need to focus on the events that's my that's my recommendation uh to get new heroes and farm so pretty exciting month april i hope you enjoyed this video and also go watch my other videos on uh the new heroes that will be dropping this month april and some of them are included here like uh for example let me find one uh, there's none but that is fine but i think astral elves i have some heroes that will be challenge festival costume hatter and costume alice so extremely exciting month like subscribe i hope you enjoyed this video uh comment down below if you have any questions feel free and see you next time